Sunderland, DB, Lou, nice one. Permanently banned. All account. Oh shit. Listen, I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's got multiple accounts anyway. Multiple. Multiple. And if anyone claims that they're behind this tomorrow on one of the little shitty FYP shows... You best bet your bottom dollar that Karma Kaz will be putting you in a Fortnite lobby. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I feel I feel bad just carrying on now. If she's like I said, if she says she's coming back on, I'll tell you guys, and then obviously go back support the Queen. <laughs> Um, I was thinking it's early for everyone coming over, but um, yeah, I was going to do this live on that Cockney Ben guy because I've not actually seen much on him, but I've been tagged in a load of shit today and I've been watching little snippets of it and it's not looking good. So there's like a full exposure live by a guy called Troy. I've not seen it. But I've got it ready to play. Um, yo, we follow back up. Shit, are we preparing for this account to go? Listen, guys, if this account goes, don't fucking worry. I'm all right. All right. If this account gets banned, I'm good. Okay. I'll be back in the future at some point. You might see me in Evil Queens live in the comment section declaring my love for EQ but it's all good <laughs> withdraw funds <laughs> withdraw it now let me do on my second device uh, yeah guys I'm going to set a backup up um, if anyone subscribed on this account <laughs> if you want to subscribe on the backup just in case <laughs> cash out quick cash out Ah. Right, yeah, so if Evil Queen isn't here, I didn't see, but how's it going, Evil Queen? What's the backup? Karma Kaz 2. I don't have any other accounts which have anything to do with what I'm doing. It's Karma Kaz and Karma Kaz 2. That's it. Anything else? Anyone else saying the, the me in... Any live kicking up a stir. If you see a host sweating profoundly from his forehead because someone's in the live called Karma Kaz Free, that ain't me. But you should be fucking sweating. <laughs> 100k likes already. Jesus. Evil Queen's in the chat. Can someone pin Evil Queen's um, message, please? Dawn put, oh, who cares? Fuck off, Dawn. <laughs> Go and find a fella and fuck off. Right, so yeah, this live is about Cockney Ben. And if you're thinking, who's Cockney Ben? Never heard of him. Welcome to my world. But um, 
I've been tagged in a load of stuff. I seen on yesterday's live people were saying something about Cockney Ben in the in the chat, and I didn't know what they were going on about. But it seems to be a big thing today, and I've not seen the exposure video. So I thought it might be good if you all watch it together. I get some of you might have watched it, but I mean some of us haven't. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a couple of um, clips from TikTok of people talking about him, and then we'll jump straight into the exposure video. After the exposure video, I'm gonna go on his profile. Then we can have a look at a few of his videos, and then I can just rip into shreds. Basically, that's how we can do it. It's a good little format. Yeah, that needs doing. I'm gonna get loads of stick for it, but here we go. And the main reason I'm doing this video is because this particular person. Yeah, listen, the trigger warning thing. We need a new word, a new phrase instead of trigger warning. But it, yeah, trigger warning for the whole live. <laughs> if if TikTok's listening and you're thinking, where am I going to put Karma Kaz on this algorithm? Where am I going to push Karma Kaz's live on this uh, FYP? Trigger warning. Push me. <laughs> I'm only joking. But yeah, trigger warning. That I am going to talk about actually came for me um, and has been High trying alert. to get my attention for quite a while now. As he has done with a few others on the app, Johnny Velvet being one of them, and loads of people in real life. People from TV. He's, yeah. Mm. So yes, we are talking about Cockney Ben. God, I can't even stand to say his name. So for those of you who don't know, he's been on the app a while. He's been grasping, clawing, trying to get everybody's attention in a very, very negative way for, God, about a year now. He professes to be some kind of spiritual healer. And I've said it in a previous video a long, long time ago. He has got the worst energy I have ever seen on this app. And that says a fucking lot because there's some strange people on this app. The way he talks, the way he goes for everybody, like he knows everybody's secrets and he's just, he's just a very, very fucking strange individual. Well, today a video has been posted on YouTube basically outing him for being an absolutely despicable disgusting human being. I want to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. And just for the record, I do not enjoy or revel in any of these situations. This video is not for clout. It's for awareness, because there seems to be a lot of this l lately. And it goes on a lot in real life, as we all know. DV, SV, all those awful kinds of things. I know, because I've had it done to me. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. It is a trigger warning. If you do want to go watch the video, this isn't just hearsay. There's actual audio phone calls with his voice on it. <clears throat> it's threatening women. It's threatening children. I can't repeat most of the things that he says on that video because it would get taken down from here. If you are interested, and if you do follow and support him, especially a lot of the ladies that I see who go and follow him. Dawn, I can't tell whether you're joking or not, but you're pissing me off. <laughs> do you honestly think I'm a manipulator? Please go watch the video on YouTube. You can't miss it, you just type in Cockney Ben and it's the first video that comes up. What happens now? Carry on with your comments and I'll manipulate your husband into the boot of the Maserati and I'll take him around Europe with me. I'll show you what manipulation is. Be chewing Euros for a month. Be cleaning my shoes. Who knows? Um, he's been in Thailand for quite a long time. And like I said, he has been shit-stirring and begging for attention for a year. 
because he's an absolute little wannabe. Like I said, he's, he came for me, tried to get my attention in obviously a very negative way. I just ignored him. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> One, his behaviour over the last few months anyway, but for this now to come out... Nice one, Colette. Six Jack, ladies. Laura, sorry if I've missed anyone. And it's heartbreaking. I'm Becky, Maxine, Shazzy. Yeah. The video because I found it too distressing. So there we go. I've thrown my two penneth in. Um, if anybody's got anything negative to say about it or to say about me speaking about it, that's what I've got to say to you. These situations are very, very tricky. And if you do go watch the video, one of the lovely ladies, one of his ex-partners, is going through a court case, I believe. So everybody has to be very, very careful what they say online. But the fact is that this man has done nothing but try to insert himself in everybody's business, trying to get attention, to make himself, because he wants to be famous, is an absolute one, one a bit, I swear to God. It She's talking about a guy on the app called Cockney Ben, who had some big exposure yesterday. A quotation mark it, because I think exposure is used quite a lot now, but I think I generally think it was an exposure on him. Um, and for the person who's asking, is she out of a film? Possibly. I know she's off Shameless, UK Shameless, but maybe she has been in a movie. He's embarrassing to watch. It makes me cringe. I have never had such bad energy literally come out of my phone. So for those of you, again, who've not seen it, or if you do support him, you might want to go rethink. Um, these situations an are well. very tricky when it comes to situations like this. So you do have to be very, very careful, but it is there for you all to hear. He says it with his own mouth. Some of the things he says are beyond disgusting, and apparently he's wanted in the UK for it. So there's me. Yes, I've had my two penneth again, um, but like I've said before, this is my page, this is my opinion, and these are facts. So this video is another video that needs... Do you want me to... I've just seen someone saying, can we see Cockney Ben? Do you want me to try and get an image of him underneath? While, while this next video plays, I'll try and get an image of him. Maybe it's a bit better. <clears throat> what happened to EQ's account? It's uh, temporarily getting fueled up at the fuel station at the minute. <laughs> That's all, just a little pit stop. Just show me a screenshot as well from uh, why the account isn't showing at the minute. Um, apparently it only, it only happens to the top 1% on the app and um, there's, there's too much money in the account. There's too much money in the account and it won't let like any more gifts come in. So it had to close the account and TikTok are looking into it and they're going to send a massive check, like a lottery winner check over. And then when the account's back, it's all it's all normal then. Back to normal. Wow. Um, I sort of don't really know what to say. I this is another guy talking about Cockney Ben. Just sat through an hour long live session um, from several women. Back Listen, if you're ever watching another crater in here or a, another shambles of an FYP show, just know that EQ is on at 8 pm and she has got the bank. The bank. She's got what everyone wants. Every FYP show, the Mucho Grande. UK, who have <laughs> sort of finally had the courage to come out and start discussing their relationship with um, Cockney Ben. And I, I'm, I, I'm just disgusted. I'm absolutely in shock. This is a man who's abused me, um, made unbelievable accusations about me being, you know, Jimmy Savile says that my child should be taken away from me. said the most disgusting things, but what, what he said to me pales in comparison to the stuff that I've heard um, from these survivors of 
the most disgusting abuse you could ever imagine. And they finally had the courage to come out and you know, talk about it. I have a platform here and I think, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I, I, so I'm, I'm going to use this to expose the people who need to be exposed um, and do it in solidarity, I suppose, with, with the victims who are crying. They're in tears, reliving their experiences. And I want everyone on this platform to go and watch that. Spend It's, it's a long video. It goes into a lot of detail. One of the women ended up in a psychiatric ward because of the abuse. I'm not afraid. I'm not someone that he can gaslight. I'm not someone he, that he can make his victim. I'm not. I'm not a woman. I'm a man. And as we've shown, when a man calls him out, he runs away. I said I was never going to make another video about the man, but this is just, this is just something I, ca I cannot ignore. And I think this is mad. This, like, literally before today, I'd never come across this guy. Like, this one guy has caused some madness. Not just to women, though, like to males as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this video. Not in like a sick way, but I'm looking forward to watching it in like... Like a crime documentary sort of way where I can see... What the hell's gone on. It's called Cockney Ben. Um... It's called Cockney Ben. So the video played before this... Um, a lady was talking about him, and now this guy's talking about him. The next video we'll play is the full exposure live on him. And then we'll jump over to Cockney Ben's profile after this, and we'll watch some videos that he uploads, and then we can just discuss it at the end if you want. Might be a interesting live. Everyone on this platform needs to watch Yeah, sorry, yeah, the guy in the video is Johnny Velvet. Stories. That I've just had to sit through. Nice one, Evil Arrow, Tarot T, Claire. Those women. Sorry if I missed anyone. Fair play to you for coming out. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the video. Um, you can see there's a screenshot here. Go onto YouTube. It's from a YouTube channel called The Observer. Go and watch it. Please, everyone, go and watch it. Share, share the video. Let's make everyone aware of these, these bra very brave women's stories.